When he first got home, he was really, really attached to me. Dudu, what are you doing? What are you doing? He would watch me type. When I wasn't typing, he would come and he would hit the random keys. They're almost mimicking what I'm doing. He has sent a couple of embarrassing emails. So I, I never leave the laptop unattended. I see a lot of pigeons everywhere, of course, it's New York City. But I saw this one pigeon in particular that just looked like it was in really, really rough shape. I just couldn't leave him there. And I brought him into the car and he sat there like a little passenger. On the way home, I suddenly feel tugging on my arm and it's him climbing up my shoulder. From the beginning, he was just so social. When we got home, he wouldn't leave my sight. He's following me. He must have picked me that night. Party, are you following me? Oh my goodness, are you following me? And at first, I was really nervous. I didn't know what was wrong with him because he had the issue with the wing. Oh, am I your buddy? I wasn't sure if I was doing things right. We experimented with bath time. What's funny about him is that he's really shy and he won't take a bath in front of anyone else but me. He likes to sit under the blow dryer while I dry him up and he'll lift up his wing and I dry there and he'll lift up the next wing and I'll dry under his wing. Look at my new baby. You wanna see him? It's baby doo doo. He couldn't fly and I took him to the vet. My vet didn't think he was releasable at all. Three months after I found him, he started to fly. He's always been pretty curious. I wasn't expecting that at all. Wow, you go up the stairs all by yourself. Good job, Tutu. He likes to steal. He loves fuzzy little things that are soft. Whenever you catch him stealing something, you can hear him chuckle. He's very much like a cat, I've noticed. Whenever he gets really excited, he'll start purring and shaking. I actually see him more as like, you know, my baby. I love to hear him purr when he's happy. I like to do things to make him happy. He's taught me you definitely shouldn't judge a book by his cover. There's so much more to him than what meets the eye. Like, comment, and subscribe.